For this tutorial, in this tutorial, we will create a simple Docker environment for our PHP application. We'll just display hello world in our browser uh, and we'll create a very simple Docker environment for our PHP application. Let's proceed. So you can see that I have created a, a folder in here. I'm just uh, creating a file in here called Docker file. And second one, I'm just going to create a file called Docker compost file. And the extension it uh, the extension will be yml it's a yml file so i'm in here and i'm just going to use the latest uh, image the php image which is uh, with built-in uh, apache uh, so i'm just going to use this uh, 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 base image divane base image from php and it Point O, and it will be Apache. This is the first line that I have written, and the second part, uh, I'm going to write that I'm just mentioning my work directory, that where uh, my work directory will be. So I'm just going to type that work directory. So work directory will be uh, par www dot and html. It's my uh, container work directory and uh, it just finished. After save that, I'm just going in uh, docker compose.yml file. And in docker compose.yml file, at first I will just mention, uh, I'm going to mention in my version, my docker compose version. So I'm just mentioning my version, it will be 3.9 version that I'm using. And second, I'll just mention the services. I'm just going to create uh, this, uh, uh, my first service name will be PHP environment that I'm going to create. So I'm just giving this name PHP ENV or you can give any name that you uh, that you want. And the second thing that I'm going to use the build and this build actually um, we, you have to mention the path that where's the Docker file. So for example, if you just give the dot, that means it will go in this root directory and it will install this docker file. If you want to use any subdirectory, for example, if you create a folder in here called PHP, then you have to give the directory like this way. So I'm just going to do only dot <coughs> because my docker file in root directory that I wanted to use. And next thing that I will use the volumes. So volumes is very important. So volumes actually uh, sync your data to local uh, to container for example i will uh, i will keep my all source in a source source directory src directory it's my local directory and i want to sync this source source directory all data into bar www dot bar www dot html slash html so when i will create a uh, folder called source and if i keep any file in this source it will automatically uh, sync in container uh, bar www.html so it will be in our container and it will be our local okay the next thing that i would i have to do uh, i'm just uh, uh, sorry i have to write this uh, this volume not like this way uh, it will be just uh, Will be like something like this way okay so next thing that i have to uh, i have to mention the ports so i'm going to mention the ports uh, for example default port uh, is uh, uh, 80 but uh, i'm just mentioning here i will i want to use a, a new port here for 80 i'm using here the 9000 port that i, I will use for my application so I'm going to save and then I'm just going to create a folder in here called src and I'm going to write a file that called index.php and in this index.php I'm just typing echo hello world. Okay, so now I'm just going to open my terminal here and I'm just writing this docker 
compose up build so if you just give this uh, command in your root directory that means in your folder then it will take some time and the docker environment will be created for your php application <coughs> so you can see that it's uh, um, it's actually done it's not actually just built it's also up because i have given this boot comment in by a single comment docker compose up build so now if you just go in your browser and just uh, reload it you should see hello world in your 9000 directories so it's very simple so if you want to access your container for example i just created this index.php in my local you want to see uh, or access your uh, container in, uh, container and want to see in bar www.html in this location that your file is in here so i'm just going to here and i'm just going to uh, uh, for example you want if you want to want to see your um, docker container so you can just type uh, docker ps to see the list so you can see that container id this one is running and is uh, also the name in here and i'm just going to access this one you can just write docker exec it then your container name or you can just use this container id and just the space and then you can just write bash and after hit on enter uh, you can see that now you are in directory by www.html that means you are in um, container directory then if you just type ls then list of your file then you can see that index of index.php in your st in your uh, html folder in your html location so this is the very beginner uh, tutorial for create a simple php environment in next tutorial i'm going to show you that how you can create the mysql environment in here and also connect your index.php with mysql thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next